Hello, my name is Alicia Shapiro with AINews.com, and today I'm with Ryan Pinot, the CEO and Global Chair of Kaiju. Could you please tell us about Kaiju and um, what you do? Sure. We're a, a global ecosystem of predictive AI companies. We build and deploy autonomous capital markets trading systems. So we started as a, a hedge fund manager back in the early days of systematic and quantitative trading and moved into artificial intelligence exclusively in 2019, which is like the dark ages, I guess, yeah. <laughs> these days. That's great. Yeah. And I noticed on your website, it was like predictive artificial intelligence for investors in financial sectors. What does that mean exactly? So how do you predict? Right. What... So, so predictive AI is different from generative AI. Generative mm -hmm. AI is obviously using, usually as a data set, the internet. Okay. And so validating source of truths is difficult. There's also no hard landscape around where your informational sources ends. Like yeah. it's pulling from which sources, where, and again, how do you verify that the information is correct? Predictive AI uses closed data sets. So in our case, it's price, time, and quantity oh, from you. capital markets trading. Let's say you were going to build an autonomous maritime navigation system. It would be wind, tide, time, surge, surf, things that you could either collect at source or you could get from an oceanographic institute or something like nice. that. So you have a high degree of certainty in the integrity of the data with predictive, which lets you be more accurate. I love that. Okay, great. And could you share a recent project where AI played a crucial role in maybe any challenges you had to overcome? Sure. Actually, it was, it was a funny one because we build these capital markets trading systems, which is always a bit of a blend between risk and profit. You can build them to be enormously profitable, but in a 10-year horizon, they tend to lose 90% of your money a couple of times, which nobody wants to live through. Right. So you're trying to find that sweet spot between maximal alpha and minimal risk. Okay. And so when we see signals appearing, we're always trying to clean up the strategy to be as efficient as possible. And our research team, which is about eight PhDs, was trying to clean out a signal that was actually a black swan event. Oh, wow. Marker, and appeared to be noise. And when we were looking at where it presented, it was sort of boiled down to this conversation where I said, did, did you accidentally invent a black swan detection mechanism? And we all went, uh, maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> so it, it's like, you know, I, no, no matter how focused, how smart, whatever, you know, you keep an open mind because you can, with this technology, you can stumble upon some pretty yeah. amazing discoveries. Yeah, accidentally, but it accidentally. worked out well, yeah. <laughs> And as AI continues to evolve, what emerging trends do you see that you're most excited about in your field? I guess for me, it's the convergence of predictive and generative AI. I mean, generative AI for us in asset management outside of aggregating information is pretty useless. Gotcha. It's not very good at math. It's a terrible portfolio manager. You're navigating GPT to give you a selection of stocks you can trade. Please don't do that. Yes. That's a terrible idea. But it's the AI with which we can communicate. Mm -hmm. Predictive AI only speaks in math and patterns. So we can use it, but the average person would have a hard time. And where these two technologies converge is when you're going to be able to ask a generative system a question, which it will then communicate to the predictive system and then okay. return a result to you in a way that you can understand. I think that's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah. We're not quite yet that we're all sort of in our own little fiefdoms and it's like, no, I don't want to cooperate with you. You're generative or you're predictive. But uh, we're, that's breaking down and we're coming together. That's good. That's great. Well, thank you, Ryan, for sharing your insights today. It's been a pleasure learning about the exciting work you're doing. For more interviews and the latest on AI News, you can follow us at AINews.com.